Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at something very special. I've had this shipped in from Hong Kong. This is a, I'm going to say this name wrong, I know it, Ligao, Ligao, L-I-G-A-O, Ligao set. It's the Chateau. And Ligao is just another name brand that Wang, or Wang, or W-A-N-G-E, Wang, sells their bricks under. Because when you open this up, the instructions all say Wang, or Wangy, or Wang on it. Yeah, you can pronounce these things any way you want to. They are still pretty cool sets, and I am impressed. I've heard some pretty poor reviews about some of the Wang sets having clutch problems and low-quality bricks. And if they've had that problem in the past, they do not have it now. So far, I've probably put together about a dozen of these Wang-branded sets and the Ligao sets. I know I can't pronounce any of these correctly. I'm sorry. Figure it out for me. Tell me how to pronounce these. Anyways, I've put together a lot of these sets now. And their quality is pretty good. It's probably, well, it's not going to be hard to say, it's definitely a better quality than even a Mega Bloks. It's right up there with Lego. Maybe about the Kobe level, which is just a hair less than Lego now. And remember, if you've tried these sets two years ago, three years ago, or ten years ago, they are not the same now. The brick design industry has changed in such that everybody's basically using the same stuff. And it's amazing how the quality has come up. And that's what LEGO needs to open their eyes to. The quality of these other companies are coming up. So if LEGO, you can't change your quality because you're already top notch, you're going to have to start competing in price because this set cost me about $12.99. That's right, $12.99. And it has 362 pieces. And it's got, you got some horses and a bunch of men, but you got stickers to put on. I hate to put the stickers on. But it's a cool little castle-like chateau thingy. Is that a real... Uh, anyways, it's pretty cool. This is set number 040104. That's 040104. And it's by Li Gao. Li Gao. Made by Wang. And it's the chateau set. And another interesting thing with this is the amount of minifigs you get. This set came with one, two, three, four, six, seven minifigs. It shows more than seven minifigs on the uh, box, but it came with seven minifigs. And that is impressive. Now, there's some bonus builds. I don't want to say bonus builds. There's some different modifications you can do to make something else. You don't have to make this big chateau. You can make a little smaller house with a little parapet up top or you can make a horse stable or a little country farmhouse with this set so if you got this set you can have the big chateau or you could have the smaller buildings or you can buy three or four of these sets and hook them together as big chateaus and have a really big chateau or you can have just a wide variety but like i said this was under thirteen dollars and remember, you're going to pay a little bit extra for that shipping and handling from Hong Kong. But I did this in an order with 24 other packages, other, other boxes and brick sets. So really, per box, the shipping was probably only about $1.50. But if you order one of them, your shipping's probably going to be like $25. And still, 12 something plus 25 is still cheaper than a set like this would be from Lego. So what do you think? Have you heard of this brand before? Have you seen this set before? I know a couple of you people out there are very familiar with these bricks, especially if you live over in Asia. And I've seen some of your reviews, and some have said, hey, they're pretty good, and some said, hey, I don't like them. But the quality is getting up there. And even if you're Lego only, it doesn't hurt to have some of these other sets just for generic bricks. If you're building a Lego city and you want just some crummy building there in the background made out of bricks, are you going to buy expensive Lego bricks for something you're never going to touch? It's just going to be sitting in the background and have your Lego sets prominently featured in the front? So that's a very good answer to the high cost of Lego is to buy some of these cheaper sets and put them in the background. Or you can use those for bad guys and have Lego Wars. You could have the Lego Kingdoms Knights fighting these guys or you could have the lord of the rings guys fighting these guys but as far as i'm concerned this is good enough to be prominently featured in your lego collection so tell me what you think am i evil for suggesting i'm using anything other than lego i got lego i got a lot of lego i spend a lot of money on lego i got a lot of lego sets but i also have a lot of non-lego sets so i'm starting to learn quite a bit about this non-lego quality and I've said before, a few years ago, the quality wasn't there, but the quality seems to be there now. And it can change. It could change tomorrow. Who knows? But right now, the quality is really good, and I am very impressed. 
All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Bring it on. Tell me how you really feel. I mean, how you really feel about this. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And as always, thanks for watching. Be my sure 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.